so I have enjoyed a lot of stories off of X and I figured I would give back a little. Here is my own story of years of supernatural shenanigans. This all started off when I was a kid, and proceeded until I was about 25. My first memory of something odd was when my brother was a baby. We have a five year gap between us so I must have been about six or seven. We lived in a small little house in Washington and I was in my mom's room. I remember looking at some small bedside table and I had a weird idea come across me to wish for something. I looked at the table and verbally wished for money, I looked away for a second and when I looked back there was a nickel. After I picked the nickel up I wished again for a piece of candy, I looked away and when I looked back there was a Tootsie Roll sitting on the table. I picked it up, ate it, and went on my day as nothing had happened. My next memory was when I was about eight, in the same house. I slept on the top bunk of some bunk beds. My mom had just put us to bed and I was laying there playing a game in my head pretending a little ball would bounce around the shadows of my room like ping pong. I remember my baby brother breathing heavy below me as babies do when they sleep. Then I heard a rustling from my closet. The closet was a double door closet that rolls open, when it rolls open one of the rollers had a flat spot so you can hear it kind of clunk as it opens. Also being a kid our floor was covered in toys, so bad whereas my mom was upset at me saying I had to clean my room in the morning. I remember there were so many toys you had to step in the void spots to enter or exit the room. Anyway, the noise from my closet gets a little louder, like clothes or something are shifting around and it freaks me out a little as we have no pets so I didn't understand what could be making this noise. I peeked over the edge of my bed to see the closet as it slowly opens about 8 inches, every couple inches I distinctly remember the flat spot catching on the roller with a thank. Now what I saw I will describe the best I can as I have described a hundred times to friends. There is a movie called Darkness Falls, the evil spirit lady, her clothes look as though they are made of intertwining black hair, almost like smoke. What I saw was a small ball, made of black intertwining hair, move across my floor pushing the toys out of its way, the bedroom door opens, and then it exits. I then proceed to hide under my blankets and cry myself to sleep. When I woke up I didn't do what 99% of other people do and think it was all a dream, the first thing I did was look over my bed and yes, there was a path made through the toys from the closet to the door. Over the next few days I proceeded to set up a booby trap every night before I would go to bed. I had a large metal dump truck and I would fill it full of blocks, tie a string from it to the closet door so when it opened the dump truck would fall off a shelf and make a loud noise. On three separate occasions I woke up and the closet was open, dump truck was spilled all over the ground, and a path was made through the toys to my bedroom door. To this day I don't understand why I never told my mom or stepdad. My next memory is from when I was about 9 or 10. I was playing outside at my grandma's. She had a row of rose bushes alongside her house. It was fall so all of the rose bushes were basically sticks with thorns. I was sitting on a tractor playing with a stick, hitting things when one of the rose bushes made a noise like something mildly shook it. I remember it caught my attention because my mind couldn't grasp how the bush shook even though there clearly wasn't anything in it or near it. I looked at the bush for a while when it shook a little harder. So I went up to it thinking there was a bird in it, even though there couldn't possibly be one, my mind was convinced that was what it had to be. I began hitting it with my stick trying to scare out the bird. Nothing came out, so I went back to the tractor. This is when the situation changed, I began to feel a creepy vibe. Not like something was watching me, just like something bad was going to happen. The bush began violently shaking. It shook so hard the few leaves remaining on it all fell off. I really can't emphasize this enough, I mean this thing looked like it was vibrating from the shaking. I looked at the bush terrified, grabbed a handful of small rocks and threw it at the bush hoping to scare out whatever could possibly be hiding in it shaking this bush. I felt as though the creepy vibe increased tenfold right then and sprinted inside, side note, later in life I ripped that rose bush up because screw you bush. Next when I was about 11, 
My mom had divorced my stepdad and we moved in with my grandma. There were few rooms so I had to sleep in the living room on a couch. One night I woke up randomly, there wasn't any bad feelings or vibes I simply just woke up. I tried to fall back asleep but couldn't so I figured I'd get up and watch some late night TV. As I looked over to where the TV was, I froze, halfway out of my couch bed. There was a small figure, it looked like a dog, pacing back and forth from where my grandma feeds her Pomeranian and where the dog used to sleep before we moved in. Except this darker than night figure wasn't that dog. I watched it for about two minutes completely frozen in fear. The figure just kept walking back and forth from the two points I stated about 25 feet from me. I jolted out of couch bed and ran to my brother's room and slammed the door. I woke him up in a panic and attempted to explain to the six year old what I saw, which he didn't understand so I told him to look out the door and see. He didn't see anything. This happened on four different occasions in the next couple weeks until I told my grandma. She asked me what the dog looked like and I said I could see it had two large white ears, a small tail, etc. So she went to her room and brought out a picture of me when I was a baby and a cocker spaniel. And it was an exact match of what I had seen. She told me that the cocker spaniel loved me as a kid and would always protect me from anyone she deemed a stranger and would never leave my side. Granted I don't remember the dog but okay cool, thanks creepy ghost dog. Now at this point I moved in with my dad and nothing happened for a long period of time until I enlisted in the military. Turning 18 in basic. Side note my dad is a devout Christian, and this plays a role later. About 6 months living at my first duty station, Fort Hood, Texas, weird stuff started happening. Our barracks room was a double wide and three soldiers shared a common area but each had their own room with walk-in closet. The first thing that happened which was weird was my PlayStation and TV would turn on in the middle of the night by themselves, it happened so often I'd unplug them before I went to bed as I was a light sleeper. Next my laptop would turn on, even if I had unplugged it so I eventually started closing it before bed. Then one time, let me tell you only once did I let this happen, my printer kicked on in the middle of the night and starting making the boot up noises where it tries to feed paper into it. That scared the shit out of me so I put it in my closet instantly never to be seen again. My walk-in closet had a motion sensitive light, that would turn on and off randomly all through the night, that actually creeped me out enough I put my wooden dresser in front of the door. Finally my battery operated alarm clock started changing its alarm time, not the normal time but the actual alarm. To change the alarm on my clock you had to press down on one button while simultaneously pressing another. One time after it changed I tested it out and saw it had to have been clicked approximately 30 times in order to get to the time it was set to. This was an issue as I was late to PT a few times and had to ask my roommate to wake me up until I got a new alarm clock. That clock too started changing its times, so I started using my cell phone. And I guess spirits don't understand cell phones as it never changed. I had worked up in my head my room was going through electrical shortages and that's why everything would turn on in the night, even though my laptop was unplugged and first alarm clock ran on batteries. But at the same time I knew something wasn't right. Then we deployed. While in Iraq nothing happened, granted 20 year old me was so sleep deprived I often slept through the mortar siren my fob would loudspeaker so who knows, maybe spirits don't want to deploy. When we got back to Fort Hood, after a month everything listed above started happening with my electronics again, even though I was in a different barracks. We transitioned to Fort Carson, Colorado, and again after a month all the electronic stuff started happening again. These barracks had about 5 floors to them if I remember right, and one night the guy that lived above me at about 2.30am decided to move his wooden furniture across his linoleum floor waking me up. It went on for about 30 minutes until it stopped. After the fifth time of this happening randomly throughout the month I finally went to the CQ desk. The CQ desk is where three soldiers are put on 24 hour guard to make sure we don't sneak any females in for the night, or to deal with any issues drunken soldiers might cause. 
I went to the sergeant of the CQ desk and told him the situation, so he grabbed the master keycard and we went to confront furniture moving douchebag. He knocked on the door and no one answered. He asked me if I was sure this was the room which I was, as the rooms are numbered and mine was directly below this room. He swiped us in and we went to the exact room the soldier would have been in, again in this barracks three rooms share a common area and all three rooms were closed. He knocked and again no answer. We heard a noise of furniture moving so he swiped the door open and we went in. We saw all the furniture piled in the corner from floor to ceiling. Chair, desk, bed, and a dresser all piled up. The sergeant says, dude are you fucking kidding me right now, what is this shit? I don't remember what I said but it was along the lines of I have no idea. The sergeant and I moved all the furniture out of that room into a neighboring room and at least that stopped. I ETS out of the military and move in with my mom until I find a place of my own. At the time I'm 23. My mom had already told me in her house she could hear noises in the night like walking, or voices, or things would move, you know all the fun stuff. Anyway I move in and after about a month I start getting woken up in the middle of the night to all of that fun stuff. Only new notable thing was one day I was taking a nap and I got woken up to a voice whispering in my ear, he needs the light, and three seconds later I hear a knock at the front door. It was some guy who was the son of my mom's friend who long story short was addicted to drugs and was told I could help him be a better person or something by my mom. No idea what happened to him as he flaked out on hanging out with me. I quickly move out and guess where I move, into some lady's basement. I couldn't argue with the 250 a month rent though. I participate off the large basement into two rooms, well three rooms if you count the pantry I didn't use and gladly didn't get drug into like on paranormal activities. Again after about a month all of the electronic stuff starts happening, after about three months it gets kicked up a notch. One day I'm on my playstation playing I don't really remember what, and I had my phone charging on a chair next to me. My phone falls off the chair, which was odd but I figured hey maybe I got a text or phone call and the vibrations knocked it off. I check and there's no missed calls or notifications so I plug it back in and set it in the center of the chair. About 10 minutes go by and the phone throws itself off the chair about 5 feet away and lands near my leg. Oh hell no, that's exactly what I said out loud. As I took my headphones off and scanned my room seeing nothing. At about this point I started using a chair as a door of my partisan as it made me feel better for some reason. One night I had clipped my fingernails and put the clippers on the chair, put the chair at the partisan as a door and went to bed. I was drifting off when I heard something hit the brick wall behind my head and bounce along the metal frame of my bed. What the shit? I got up and turned the lights on and saw the fingernail clippers and lobbed themselves across the room at me and landed behind my bed. Neato Mr. Ghost. On a few occasions I had people from drinking parties we often threw come up to me and say my room had a creepy vibe, or they felt like something evil was down there, thanks guys. Through years of this everything creeped me out but I stopped having that fear from, it was more inconvenient. Until... One night I was awoken by what's best described as a beam of freezing cold piercing my body and sucking the energy from me making me feel weak. Like sugar crashing outside in the winter, but you can feel a directed cold ray hitting you in the chest. I woke up and looked at the partisan and saw I'd guess to be a 6 to 7 foot tall darker than night figure standing behind the chair, damn right chair door saves the day. All jokes aside I was filled with more terror than I have ever felt in my life. Being shot at, friends die in IED explosions, ghost dog, bullshit electronics, this was on another level. It was like fear was being put into me, like forced into me and there was nothing I could do about it but sit up and stare at this thing. After about 3 minutes it disappeared. And let me tell you with a quickness did I turn on every light in my basement room. And no I did not drift off again like in other stories. This happened again about 3 more times over the course of 3 months until I talked to my uncle who's a pastor of a church I used to go to. Now I'm Christian but I never thought about rebuking this thing in Jesus Christ's name as my uncle instructed me. 
One night again I was woken up with the immense dread and fear as this thing was standing behind my only defense, chair door. And I started mentally thinking in Jesus Christ's name I rebuke you I felt a tingling energy go through my body and replace the fear, until verbally I started saying it. In Jesus Christ's name I rebuke you. I said it aloud and the figure disappeared, everything stopped for about a month. I had an extra keyboard on the other side of the partisan, chair door was no longer needed as nothing was happening anymore. I got woken up from a dead sleep to what sounded like something going to town on that keyboard, I grabbed my cell phone and used its light to illuminate the keyboard and I could see a shadow of a large dog running back and forth against the wall. I yelled, chair door, get him. No seriously though I rebuked it in Jesus Christ's name and it dead stopped. Fast forward three years, I get a job and move out of my hometown. But often take trips to visit friends and family and when I do I stay at my mom's. Nothing really creepy happens while I'm there. I start dating a girl and she comes with me on some of my trips. One trip all in one day, she's in the shower, she hears me knock on the door and say I'm coming in she said she heard the door open and the cold air hit her in the shower as the door closed. She came down and asked me what I wanted, I told her I have no idea what she's talking about. Later our travel bag which had sat on a table for about 3 hours randomly falls off. As we go to sleep there is a creepy feeling, and she said she heard a loud noise in her ear, similar to what I had described to her from the past happening to me. When we woke up the next day her glasses had moved themselves across the house, two doors, and were sitting under the bathroom mirror. One trip I was talking to my mom about all the creepy stuff, and she mentioned the crawl space in my brother's room. My brother said he found an old bong in it and I asked my mom if she ever looked in hers. She told me no so I decided to look and when I looked in the crawl space there were about seven stuffed animals in a half circle facing a air vent about seven feet in the crawl space. I told my mom about it and she thought I was playing a prank on her. The next day when I woke up I had the urge to get rid of this things that torments everyone. I went upstairs and I could feel a heavy, creepy vibe in my mom's room. I rebuked it in Jesus Christ's name and it felt as though the energy left the room, like you could almost physically feel it change in the atmosphere. And that was the last thing that ever happened at my mom's house. And that's my story, I hope it helps others that might be going through anything similar.